Hello, in this video I will show you how to install Visual Studio Code and set up it to <coughs> run C++. First, let's uh, search Visual Studio. Visual Studio Code. Remember, Visual Studio Code is free, so you can download from visualstudio.com. Click that. And you have a different version for the Apple machine or the Linux machine. In my case, I'm using Windows. So click that, and it will start downloading. So I already have that download. So let me go to my download folder, double click. So it's ask uh, for the for all user or for uh, not means to run as administrator. So would like to install for all users download system installer instead from the <coughs> from the Visual Studio Code. So just click OK and uh, accept agreement. Select Lex. You can change the folder to where you uh, you want to store that. So I'm using the default one. Click next, next again, and uh, you have a uh, option to add open with code action. So remember, you need to check this added path. You need to make sure this one is checked. Now click Next and to install it. Now we finish the installation and let's launch Visual Studio Code. Okay. So the next step we need to uh, uh, install the C compiler. So we just go to Google search C++ Visual Studio Code. Then from the first link, we go to the C++ and uh, then at here you have an example install MinGW. Now there is a path here to click here to download the MSYS2. Now let's double click to the installation. Click next, next again. Now it's finished the installation. And uh, I want to run it right now. 
<coughs> so this method is uh, under Visual Studio Code uh, official website. So uh, you you download the correct version of the MinGW. Now we need to uh, uh, <coughs> install GCC uh, tools. So to do that, let's go to the after the installation, let's go to the software and uh, then we go to the ms2.exe open it and uh, type the command Now it asks uh, the selection. So we will use the default one. Press enter. And press enter again. Press Y. Now we finish the installation and then let's check back to the folder. Before that, uh, before that, this folder is empty. Now we can see a bunch of uh, files inside. Let's double check with the uh, command line. Oh. We need to check the environment first. So we go to settings and then we search environment. Added environment variables and go mm. to the environments, go to path and click edit. So you need to check the system variables path. Edit. So we already have that uh, include. If not, double check your folder. If not, if you don't have the bin folder included in the map path, you need to go to the bin folder and copy. Then new variables and click pass. Let's uh, delete that one. Are using the new one. Click OK. Click OK again. And let's check uh, G plus plus dash dash version. So if you see this uh, message, that means uh, your success installed the C plus plus compiler. Then let's go to the next step. The next step, we need to open the Visual Studio Code. And you select the extensions. Now search. Select C++. So this one, make sure it's installed already. If not, you need to install it. And then, let's go to the, we need the code runner. Install 
install this one. Now let's uh, create your first uh, Hello World uh, document. So go to File, New File. Include uh, all stream. You will see namespace. Then you need to save it as any folder. Let me make a new folder here and uh, let's say project. Save as uh, a dot cpp now we run it now you can see hello world here so that means it's a success for running Okay, so hope you enjoy this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.